All right, I want to show you how I uh, painted a, a Big Mac with a bite out of it, and I'm doing it in an impressionistic style, and uh, let's just go right to it. All right, today I, <laughs> I want to do a painting. This is my second um, painting using this new thing that holds the phone up, up there, up there. So hopefully it's good. Then I got an actual microphone that I'm using for my voice. What I want to do is I want to paint <laughs> this hamburger. It's a Big Mac. I'm going to skip the fries. Hold the fries. I'm just going to do the, the <laughs> painting of that. Okay, so let me, uh, let me show you how I'm going to do this. We're going to do this with Procreate. So let me open up Procreate. And for those of you who are new, want to see what Procreate app's uh, logo looks like, that's it right there. Um, and so let's just begin. So first, I'm going to uh, get a canvas. Um, so there it says new canvas. I wanted to do it this way so you could see everything that I do. Because when you just record the... Um, does it look like it needs to be clean, the, the lens? Does that lens look like it's dirty? Um, when, when you just record like the time lapse from the, the uh, app itself, you don't see my hand, you don't see where I'm pushing buttons, and you don't see the, the reference photo. So while I love it, it's still got some issues. So I'm just going to pick this one, A4, and boy, that looks like it needs to be clean. Robert, do I have a, a, a napkin or something? Yeah, I got a napkin here. Where is that microphone? Oh, that is lens. I think the lens is a dirty. Does that look better? That does look better, doesn't it? Okay, that's better. All right, so now uh, this is the um, the page, the, the, the paper, for lack of a better way, the canvas. I got it. Thank you. Thank you, Robin. And, and uh, what I want to do now is I want to make sure it's 300 DPI because that's dots per inch because if I like it, I want to be able to use it. If it's less than 300, it might not be that good. So, all right. Uh, canvas information. I should have done that so you could see it. But anyway, so uh, let's see. Dimensions. That's what we want to push on. And there you go. That's where it says 300. That's all I care about. The size is good, too. You have to make sure. But this is just a hamburger, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is I want to open up the uh, reference photo. And right now the reference photo is the white canvas. So then you have to import a photo. And I'm going to import the photo that I'm using. There it is right there. So that's my reference photo. going to make it a little bit bigger because I don't want to do the fries. Just the burger, please. <laughs> and I purposely took a bite out of it so um, so we, you could see. So I wouldn't have. So you could, it's more of a challenge to do a hamburger with a bite out of it. All right. Um, now what I want to do is I want to change the background color to a darker color. More like that, I think. So it's not pure white. Okay. Now, we're not going to trace, and we're not really going to draw, draw. We're going to just do shapes. So, and I'm going to use the turpentine brush, this one right here. And let me show you what it looks like. Um, now, why did that go away? Why did that picture go away? Oh, maybe it didn't on your end, but it did on my end. Okay. But there it is. Okay, so here we go. So I want to be able to, I want to be sure you can see everything on the screen. All the controls I use. What this does, this right here, this uh, makes the brush bigger and smaller. So let me get a, a darker color. So you can see if it's bigger, it's going to have a big, big footprint, so to speak. And this makes it more opaque and less opaque. So make it most opaque so you can see it. There it is. So that, there you go. That's that's what we have there. And uh, now I'm going to clear all that. So you go to the layer and you hit clear and it goes away. So now if you make it smaller, you see how that's getting smaller right, right there. See how it's getting smaller and bigger. So you make it smaller and now you got smaller lines. You see? 
and you can uh, erase it with two fingers also. That's another way to do it. All right, so let's just get started and um, we'll pick a color. Um, I think probably I will start with what's probably the darker color in there somewhere, the burger part of it. It's just to, to get a rough idea of, of where everything is going to be. So here we go. All right, that looks about right. Make it a little bit bigger and a little bit less opaque. So there's the, the burger. There's the other one underneath it. And there's that. And I'm going to make it a little, a little bigger. So, okay. And then you go around. Okay, and then there's the, the edge, the edge. There's the shadow of that. Okay. All right. Now everything is fixable. What you, what I love about digital, is that you can uh, change everything later on. You can change everything later on in traditional paint too. But it's a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit. You have to do more. Okay. I already don't like the size, so I hit that, and you see the square. Now I can take that. Oops, that makes it. I want to make it uniform, so I want to make it bigger, but not distorted. So there, you already can see that it's going to be a burger with a bite out of it, right? Okay, now, to make this really interesting, we have to start adding color, of course. So what would you say that color is? I would say it's an orange-ish, right? This Maybe this color here. And you know what? It don't have to be right. You can be wrong and fix it later. So I'm painting over it now. And we want this to look painterly, by the way. We do not want this to look photographic. If you wanted it to look photographic, you can do that too. I would advise not using the turpentine brush if that was your, your goal. Okay, so there's the bun. There's the bun. There's the bun. They put, what do they put, two pieces of bread on this thing? No wonder you're being so fat. Okay. All right, so there's that. And now you see the, the, the light. Well, let's do the lighter part of the bun first right there. So it's a little bit lighter. It's almost white. So put that there. Yeah, so we want this to be painterly. Now we're going to do the darker part, the shadow on there. Okay, you see how that works? Um, once we get it, once we get most of it in there, let me get some darker colors over here. Oh, and what I'm doing here, if I didn't explain, this is the palette, and this is where you can change it to any color you want. You could also make it round. Some people prefer the round one. I prefer the square one. Um, so you can pick and choose. Again, there's so many great tools in Procreate. You just got to admire the the people who put this together. All right, so so you have this and that, that bun. Now you see already where there's some mistakes, right? So what we do is, um, hold on, I gotta do that, okay. So it's already starting to look like a burger. You see, like a Big Mac. It's a big, Big Mac, a Big Mac. Painting a Big Mac. How to paint a Big Mac. All right, so there you see it's sticking out a little bit right there, so we make it stick out. And then, uh, and, and if you want to grab the same color you already had, you hold your finger on it, it'll sample it. Now it's on the brush or on the pencil. And uh, there you go, there's that color. Okay, and then you grab it around here. Okay, all right, now let's start to, um, to fine tune it. This is where we start to really work it so that it starts to really look like a bun. Um, a burger and I, I wasn't going to put it on something but I think I will I think it'll give it more depth this is a, a, a an actual Big Mac that I actually took a bite out of it so you can see I have a very big mouth and it's on my dashboard of my car that's where I took that photo so all right so now what we want to do is we want to kind of take a look at some of the the nuances in the color so there's more of a shade there so let's take a sample of this now that's the color that's right there, and we want to make it a little bit darker. And so I push this, make this a little bigger. Okay. Okay, there we go. It's starting to look right. Okay. 
little by little. And, and here's the thing. I want to say this too. I am not trying to recreate this exactly. If this were a portrait of a dog or a human being or any, anything that has a likeness that is very important, you definitely don't want to take liberties. You don't want it to be impressionistic. Actually, well, I, I'm going to take that back for a second because you can actually make it impressionistic and and it wouldn't be too bad. It it depends on how much time you spent with it, but um, it's it's better to uh, really take your time when you're doing a portrait uh, of a dog or a human or a cat, any, anything that has a personality. All right, so we got lettuce in there. There should be cheese on here too, right? There's a pickle sticking out the end there. All right, so let me add this dark area here, and then I'm going to show you something else I like to do. So right now we have basically let me get the let me put a green pickle in there okay that looks like the color of a pickle where's it coming from it's coming from right here so there's that it's a little bit too green but it's okay i'll fix that okay and it's very very impressionistic um all right what i want to do now is i want to make it bigger way bigger and and i want to get this and make it way bigger so i'm going to take the reference photo I'm not going to make it too much bigger, actually, because there's not enough room on here. But there. Okay? All right, so there's our rough sketch, very impressionistic Big Mac. Now we're going to fine-tune it a lot. Here's a trick that you can use. You can sample the color from the photo itself. And so I am going to do that. So I grabbed the color of the bun itself. Um the actual color that's on the bun. Now, it's not uniform. It's going to be varying from place to place. This area right here has a darker shadow. Um, the burger itself has um, a dark, what do you call it, a, shadowed, a shaded area on the meat of the burger. If you're a vegetarian, just look the other way. Okay, so I'm trying to get that light color right there. We'll put that in there. It's hard to tell much difference. And then let's get the uh, the lettuce. Just sample the color of the lettuce. And we'll just kind of put it in there. Here's the lettuce again. Okay, it's just sticking out the side there. Um, there's that pickle. Um, let's get the edge of this bun right here. Where it is white-ish. Okay, and then uh, let's get this area over here and kind of mix it up. And what I'm not doing is tracing. Now, you can. I don't really see anything wrong with tracing. It depends on what you're trying to accomplish, you know. Um, some people don't like tracing. Um, but, you know, tracing happens in, in traditional art also. It's not just a a digital track. All right, so there's some light hitting this burger bun from the back there. There must have been sun coming through my windshield. And let's put this. Now, we are going to take liberties with this. Um, I'm going to take our, just our artistic sensibilities, and we're going to make our own, okay? <laughs> So I'm using a, 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 a UP, a USB, USB microphone. I love it. It's really, really good. But it's also um, everywhere. You, like you hear everything. You hear the cars going by and everything. Okay. So now let's get the bottom of this bun where it's a little bit darker. Put that on the bottom. And uh, let's get some of these mid-tones here. Uh yeah. Now, if you were if you were actually going to be creating a painting for an advertising agency, you wouldn't want it to be painterly. You would want it to look, you know, photographic. So that's just something also to keep in mind if you are studying art for that purpose. Um, but for me, it's it's about being painterly. It's about being uh, artistic. It's about being impressionistic. Um, and and it's about just demonstrating 
that something that, that seems to be a challenge isn't really a challenge because if I could tell you one thing that you can take with you, it's this. Draw or paint what you see and not what you know. Paint what you see, not what you know. What I'm getting at here is you know there's a hamburger in here, but you really don't see a hamburger, right? All you see is dark and light sh shapes. So don't paint a hamburger. Paint the shapes. Paint the things you see. If you're painting a face, you want to paint what you see. Um, you, you don't see, you don't always see the nostrils and the nose, depending on what angle you're at. Is that the right way to say that? You're, what angle you are in, or, or whatever. Okay. All right, now back here, the bun looks like it's got a lot more light to it, so I'm going to put more, more light to it from there. There we go. And around here, there's just some just little, little pieces around here that have little cracks in the bun. See them? So we're going to make sure we deal with them too. All right, now... Let's take a crack at these seeds. Let's see. These seeds are a very light color. So, and they're very small, of course, and they're very opaque. So let's just make them small. And where are they? Let me make them lighter than that even. Okay. So what I'm doing here, maybe make it bigger than that. Maybe they're bigger than I thought. Okay, well, let's just back it off here and uh, look at these seeds. Actually, what I will do, I'm going to put the seeds on a second layer. That way I can put some shade under the seeds. So what I did right there, just to show you, I made a second layer. And this layer is only going to have the seeds on it. Okay, and that's where the seeds are on top of the bun, see? See, I, I put some on the bun, so there's nothing I could undo them, I guess, but... All right, so I'm not worrying about putting every seed exactly where it is. I'm not even worrying about making the seeds the exact shape they should be. Again, this is because I'm I'm making an impressionistic Big Mac. I'm not making a photographic Big Mac. If I was, I definitely wouldn't do this. If you're hired by an agency, you don't want to be doing impressionist. Unless that's what they ask you to do. Maybe they will. Maybe they'll say, hey, can you do an impressionistic... Big Mac. And you'll say, sure, why not? Why not do an impressionistic Big Mac? What's wrong with an impressionistic Big Mac? Nobody ever cared before. Nobody ever cared if Van Gogh did a Big Mac. <laughs> right, Robin? Nobody ever cared. See, now you got some sesame seeds. All beef, two all beef patties. All right, let's, um, you see how it's coming? Now, there's an area right here that's a mistake, see? So let's get the eraser. That's the eraser. And I have the eraser set on gouache, even though I'm using the turpentine brush. But you can set the eraser to the same brush as you're using. I'm using the gouache eraser. Oh, i got to go down a layer because it's on the next layer of the paint that I'm needing to erase. There we go. Okay. Um, all right, now let's kind of study it a little bit. Right now, it, it <laughs> there's no question about it being a burger right now. It's just a burger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double it. I'm going to duplicate. Watch what happens when I duplicate it. Boom. It becomes richer. Now I'm going to merge the two together so I have a richer version of what I've already done. Um, now I'm going to erase some of those mistakes again. There's the eraser. Let's get some of that, those, what do you call them, artifacts when you mess up like that? I don't know why they call them artifacts, but that's what I've heard. All right, so let's, uh, let's look at it. Now, it does not look exactly like that. The idea is to make it impressionistic. That's what I wanted to show you. So I'll, maybe I'll title this, How to Make an Impressionistic Painting of a Big Mac. Okay. And I, I really think there's not a whole lot more you need to do. Because if you were 
if you were going to show this somewhere, at an art show, for example, um, I'm using the eraser, I should be using the paint. I make that mistake a lot. All right, let me just get some more of these exact colors here. So what I think I'm going to do now, just to make it a little bit more, um, just a little bit more detailed, I think, I'm going to, uh, well, first of all, let's put a layer underneath it. So there's a layer, and I'm going to pull it down so it's underneath it. The reason I'm doing that is because I think I like this shadow here. So I'm going to put that shadow there underneath it where the napkin is. It's sitting on a napkin, but I'm, I'm not so worried about it looking like a napkin. Just like a little area. So... So you can see the light and the shadow. That's all I'm really trying to do here. There. Okay, a little darker. A little bit of shadow there. There. I might do one other thing to demonstrate. Again, this does not look exactly like the Big Mac that's in the photograph. And uh, I can't stress it enough. If that's what you wanted to do, then you would really take your time and you would make... Although, I will, I will tell you this, that if that is what you are trying to achieve, is something that looks exactly like what you're looking at, I would start this way. I would start I impressionistic way and then build it from there. You could take this, what I have here, and make it um, more more defined, more realistic looking. See, I'm pretty sure I made a mistake there, so let me grab that. Put that there. I'll, I'll improve on that in a second. Now let me put that bun there. I didn't put the, that middle bun that's the fat. That's where the extra fat comes from. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, let's make the pickle. Pickle's got a, a translucence to it. So make the pickle a little bit darker on the edges. There we go. Okay, now I'm just uh, touching it up a little bit to put some maybe some detail around where the lettuce is sticking out and all that. All right, now the only other thing I want to do here is, uh, so I, I can get rid of the reference photo now. So I want to make it big so I can see it. And you can see it's very, very impressionistic. <sighs> so what I want to do is I want to put a layer over it. And this is called... Watch this. You move this down. I'm going to do it slowly so you can see it. That's called multiply. See that? Multiply. It's a multiply layer. Now what I can do with that is I can take, um, let's say a dark, just this color right here, and we're going to make the whole picture covered with that. Okay? Now can you see the difference between that it's hard to tell, but it's just a little bit darker, okay? And then what you do is you take the eraser and you erase the layer that has the, the, um, the multiply layer. You erase it so that you have um, the light a little bit more um, exaggerated where, where you want it to be exaggerated, the light coming across the side, and uh, like that, and just on the on the, the napkin here, it was coming across. The shadow was in there, and okay, okay, well, there you go. I think we got it. I think that's it. There's our impressionistic Big Mac. To make it even better, if I had a. Uh, just one more thing to do. I would say 
Make it small. Make it small. Because now look how it looks. It looks like a Big Mac. Right? There's a big Big Mac. All right. How to paint the Big Mac. I don't know how long that took. But the idea is to be impressionistic. And you could keep working on it until you had it exactly the way it looks. This is not exactly the way it looked in the photograph. And the idea was to make it an impressionistic picture. All right. That's it. Back to the other camera. Well, it's the same camera, but I'm going to aim it at me so I can say goodbye. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you're hungry, go get a Big Mac. Take a bite out of it, at least.